everybody and welcome back to Nando Dream. So today I'm doing three different separate Nandroid reviews for you all in one video. And the first Nandroid I have for you is Karuko Moeta. Her Nandroid number is 948. She is from an anime called Comic Girls, which is about four girls who live in a dorm together who are trying to become professional manga artists. So here she is out of the box. You can see she comes with two face plates, a couple hands, and different arm pieces. So this is how Karuko comes in the box. All I did was remove plastic. She has these cute little red clips in her pink bubblegum hair that is tied in two little braids that are super long. She has her school uniform and little black socks that go past her knees and little brown shoes. She has the cutest hair. I love it from the back, it's so adorable. There's also a little bow under the peg and she has pink eyes. So her next pose is her with her tablet. She draws everything on her tablet. She is a manga artist who only uses a digital tablet and not paper, so paper is very difficult for her. So her and her next pose is her freaked out expression, which she wears a lot when she gets upset or scared, or which is mostly all the time. Her next pose is her with this cute little cat. I haven't gotten up to the anime where she found a cat yet, so I'm very intrigued to get there. So the next pose is her with the cat again, but it's got a cute little beret on. Now I'm going to put Karuko in her new home. So the next Nandroid is Lily from the newest Pokemon series. Her Nandroid number is 934. I think this is actually the second Lily figure, but I really liked this one versus the other one where she came with a really big hat. So this is her out of her box. She comes with a Clefairy, a book bag, a Pokeball, two other face plates, lots of arm pieces in this bag and of course her stand. So this is Lily out of her box. She has the prettiest green eyes. She comes with this cute little tennis outfit that's white and blue, cute little white socks and some tennis shoes. And she has this really pretty yellow hair that is pulled back into a big ponytail, which is so pretty and it's got a braid wrapped around it. So cute, love it. So her next pose, I put her in her backpack and put her hands into a upwards fist so it looks like that she is holding her backpack. So cute. I have no idea what this pose is supposed to be. It looks like she's doing a jig. All right, so now I pulled out her Clefairy, who is super adorable. So, so cute. She's so cute. And her pose is, I guess, sort of saying yes, and she's like got her arms in the air. I don't know. Her next pose is her holding a Pokeball with both of her hands and her smiling expression, which is super duper adorable with her Clefairy. I love this face plate. It's so angry. Okay, now I just think she's mad at me <laughs> because I like that face plate so much. All right, so now it's time to give Lily a new home. Oh, and I can't forget her Clefairy. And the last Nandroid is Haratsuru Ai. And she is Nandroid number 897. 
I have not watched this anime yet. I really don't even know what it's called. It's in Japanese on the box. But she is so adorable. And I did watch a small trailer of this actual anime. And it looked really good. So I'm going to have to sit down and watch it. So this is her out of her box. And she comes with a soji board, a book bag, a kneeling pose, two face plates, some hand parts, and a little cushion. And of course her stand. So this is what she looks like when she comes out of her box. She comes with a really big cute beret hat. Her hair is pulled back into pigtails, which would look like kind of like little umbrellas with strings. Her eyes are a very pretty blue, and she comes with a blue school uniform. So one of her hand pieces is she's holding a soji piece. Her next pose is her holding this fan. I don't know what it says on it at all, but it hides her face and it's super cute. I feel like it's for if she's bluffing. Her next pose is her with her arms clenched to her face like she is excited about something. She also has her red book bag on and the stand does clip into it. Her next pose is so stinking cute. She looks so mad and frustrated. It's adorable. I think I just like the mad poses the best. I don't know why. They're so adorable. So the next pose is her kneeling in front of the soji board. And her faceplate has her eyes like different colors. I guess she's like really zoned into the game. <laughs> Her final pose is her placing her soji piece on the board, all happy like. Alright, and so now it's time to place her in her new home. So that is it for my review of these three beautiful ladies. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you next one. Sweet dreams.